I saw him. I, I swear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. With some comments from the recent YouTube videos, you guys wanted me to take out the T29 and see if it's actually worth the GE for you guys to purchase. So right off the bat, this is a 6.7 American tank destroyer, or heavy tank if you will, and that's kind of concerning. So we're at 6.7, right? Now I don't, there's some drama on the forums about if they've gotten the mantlet right or if the armor values are correct. Let's just go check it out right now. And as you can see, the it's only 203 millimeters of effective, or, you know, armor. And pretty much anything at 6 point, well, definitely 6.7 will be able just to shoot right through your mantlet and everything's in there. You got ammunition, you got crew, you got charges beneath you. Well, that's what you, if you take full ammo. Um, but if we look at the Tiger 6.7 battle rating, um, that round will definitely go through this mantlet. Now, I can't find... I might be wrong, but I can't find any other backup mantlets. You know, like some tanks have hidden armor right there. But this is just a straight 200 millimeters um, right inside the tank compartment, which really isn't that good for what this tank was known as. You know, like the uh, a hold down beast, kind of like the T32. Well, maybe the T29 had a little bit of hold down beast in it, but you know that's how I knew this tank. But at 6.7, it's really not going to be a hold down beast now. Um, if we angle that turret a little bit, it's not going to matter. We're showing our cheeks that are easily able to be penned. Um, at far range, that mantlet will do something. But at close range, that mantlet will do nothing. And then looking at the lower glacis, going right through. Upper glacis, going right through. Now, there is an RNG chance, RNG uh, bounce chance with 54 degrees. Uh, but if you look through the x-ray, we got ammunition right there. So if we show our upper or lower plate glacis, we're done -zo. Now, looking at the gun, the gun is fantastic. Look at this thing. Look how brute that thing is. Um, we have explosive ammo as well, which is fantastic. Now, we have the um, armored piercing ballistic cap shell. This is just a solid shot, I believe. Um, and this is the one that the T28 or the T95 gets that no one really likes. Uh, but actually, the T28 and T95 have this round, or at least have an explosive round. This round is devastating. Uh, this can go right through the upper plate of a Panther and completely ammo rack it in the tests. Drive. I was taking out and seeing where I could shoot, you know, certain stuff, you know, at pretty crazy angles. This round is really good at going through angles, uh, but it will not go through Tiger 2's upper plate and lower plate. Um, so Tiger 2's are going to have to be killed through the mantlet. Um, T T 44's are going to have to be killed through the mantlets. T 32's were going right through the center of mass. Uh, so this is the shell I will be primarily using today. Um, the good thing is, is that our APCR is fantastic, though. Um, but I don't think we will need that because the only, let's look at the T-54s in case everything gets messed up. In case our BR is at the top, it can be. Uh, let's go, to, oh, wrong button here. Let's go to the T-54s and check out its mantlet real quick. Okay, so its armor right here, where I would shoot it, is only 258. If we get it a little bit more inside, nope, that's actually worse inside. It starts to angle. If we shoot it right through here, we can manage it with our armored piercing uh, ballistic cap shell. So I don't think I really need the APCR, but if we do, then we'll put that on. Now let's see if we can put on a nice camo on this thing. Now this should have all the US camos. Okay, I like this one a lot, the last one. Hang on. It looks kind of crappy right now, but then we uh, make the scale lower. Oh yeah, all right, let's purchase that. Uh, but guys, if you want to see any other new vehicles added into 1.57, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, let's give this, well, thank you. Let's give this thing a go. Oh, hey there, Finland. So our camo is going to work out beautifully um, this map. Instead of being blended in, we're going to be completely exposed. But with the, the, the design of the T29, we are going to look like a flipping rock. And I have a, I know exactly where I'm going to go. Take a little bit more of this ammo here. There you go, 21 rounds. Not that I'm gonna, like, there's there's some games where I use that much, so I always take about 20. Now we do have 10 of the um, APBC, just because I want to test it out, just in case I can't pen from the front. Uh, now there's some things that I forgot to mention about the T29 in the intro. 
let's -a go. Uh, uh, can I go? No, okay, let's let's. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, dude. My man, right there. My man. Uh, one, this tank has pretty decent depression. Look at that. That's not bad at all. I don't know how many degrees it is, but it looks about seven or eight, maybe ten. I don't know, uh, but it has really good depression for being a heavy tank. Uh, another thing is that it has a pretty good top speed. Not the best mobility, but good top speed down a hill. I think it's max speed with a governor. Well, it feels like there's a governor on here. It's 35 kilometers an hour. And another thing that I didn't mention is that this thing has 350 cals. You know, it's not shooting anybody here, but let's check it out. It's kind of hard to see all the tracers, but you got two, you got two coaxial right there and one on the top, commander slot. But the way I'm going to play this match is that I'm going to sit right up here on this hill and hopefully uh, the, the depression will be able to grant us um, visibility on the enemy tanks in the valley below. Uh-oh, they're already capturing A. I wonder, kind of, I wonder what kind of tanks they have. No, but seriously, what kind of tanks do they have with that speed? Germans. We're not, we're not Leo VR. Um, maybe ASU-57 was able to get there that quick? If anything, he's getting tormented by the M18 already there. All right, come on, T-29, you gotta climb this. Ooh, T-54, shit. All right, luckily enough, we're loaded up with that first type of shell. And another thing is, is that if we have enough depression, uh, the way that we'll look... Oh man, this guy took my spot, that's okay though. The way that we'll look on the T-54s from below is that... Hang on, let's just be ridiculous right here. Hey, you guys! <laughs> you have to be dead. How am I not dead yet? Let's look to the left. Oh my gosh, is this really a thing right now? I hear a tank to our left. That's friendly, though. This is the worst strat you can ever do. This is not what I want to do, but, you know, it looks like people are cleaning back a little bit. What the flip? Okay, we're going to push down. No problem at all here. Left side is clear. M46 is pushing up that way. Ah, uh, we might have some... We might have some people, majority of their tanks, that went on the uh, ocean side. Or the water side of this map. Got a tree down in front of us. That, oh yeah. Oh, I need to get that ammo shot. That's good enough. There we go. Just, just I don't know how he killed him, but he's dead. All right, let's load up that, um, uh, what's, what's this round called? T13 to T13 round. Okay, we got a lot of tanks, a lot of enemy tanks killing our tanks right now. Attention to the designated grid square. Okay, left side is clear for the most part. Okay, we're gonna push up here. Push, little man, push. STRV's covering our left side. Just kidding, he, he just got messed up. I don't know from where though. It sounded like it was close by him though. through that. We're going to wait for a better shot. He doesn't see us yet. Hard shots here. Alright. We can definitely go through that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. That is one of the worst feelings in War Thunder. Having the feeling of, oh yeah, I just killed someone, turn to, oh shit, I'm about to die. Really a roller coaster of emotions. But okay, we're on Corellia right now. We have some really good hold down positions here. Let's see if we can peek up here just a little bit. Oh, beautiful. This thing has such a high silhouette. Now, not many good shooting angles from this position, but we might be able to get some people who push up here. Okay, actually, we'll push up. We do have some dominance on the hill to our right. Now we have, okay, reversing the Russians. 
Okay, roger that. Push, push, push. And we are all the way across the map right now. Well, not all the way, but pretty much there. Trying to find our first target to engage. IS-2 up here as well. He just killed one of our teammates. All clear. This is... We got a panther here. This guy's gonna die quick. Now let's see this thing's depression right here. Now this thing can go right through the, the top plate. And there it goes. Look at that, Tango down. T5. Spotted a Yak Tiger here. We got the nuke round up, engaging. Tango down, retreat. Okay, we got one guy up here as well. On the reload, we do have some nice cover from our right by this rock. Now their spawn dictates that Okay, so he, they could have some help from the left side. But luckily enough, we have A controlled. Big tank. Whoosh. I had to, I had to take that shot, man. It ricocheted, though. Next shot, we're going right through his mantlet. Luckily, he just bounced off, of, off us. That's fantastic. Okay, a little bit higher. Critical. Okay, we got our, our left covered. After we're done repairing, we're gonna push up. All clean. Moving up to capture B. We should have this game in the bag. Enemy kill assist. Okay, so Dingo Dog just killed the IS-2. We're gonna cap this point. Left side's clear. Man, this is a pretty artillery fire, though. We have some campers over here. Austin, anyone on this side? Wait, hang on. Just heard some enemy. So there's really no reason for us to go capture B. Our team is destroying their spawn right now, but I saw some MG tracers up here, so... That is one of the main reasons why they lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Enjoy your last moments of freedom, Pidgey! Because your ass is mine. Pokeball, go! Welcome to me fucking game. We are not playing around anymore. We only have explosive ammo. <laughs> That's a lie. We have APCR just in case I'm beaching, you know, reverse a T-54. But, you know, I'm trying to go for those early game one-shots. You know, we, we need the motivation and the morale boost from that easy one-shot from the T-13. That's the round. This is T-29. Now, last game... Fantastic demonstration on how to get back at a tank. Not only did we kill him, but we made him laugh in the process as he got killed and he saw the 82 with no wings at all. Alright, so Eastern Europe. I have no idea what's going to happen this game. Well, that's pretty much how all games are. But still to this day, I am not good at playing on Eastern Europe. Some of you guys are like, you're flying, not good at playing on any map. Oh! Wow. Fucking savage viewer. That's hashtag savage viewer. Right there. Pure savage. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna go into the town. We're gonna one-shot a fucking tiger in the face. Then we're gonna reload and one-shot his, his brother, the panther. And then we'll one-shot his dad, the tiger, too. This is all on, this is all on tank talk, not, not real life. Okay, we're pushing up here. 
No, no, no. I don't like this spot. Let's take a right here. Oh, we just we just saw a round come through. <laughs> this thing's like, I don't want to traverse. Don't make me do it. All right, but what we do have to look out for... Oh, look at that fucking Russian tank right there. Hang on, let's see if we can get a shot on him real quick, because he will be in the open soon. Not like this. I saw him. I, I swear. <laughs> oh my god, the feeling of that. The feeling of a T-29 right in front of you. Holy crap. Okay, so we are versing the Russians. Let's just relax here for a little bit. Ooh, ooh, and the Germans. Okay, we do have some tanks over to our right. So is that our M4? Okay, that's our M46 right there. Okay, someone took down that T4. Oh, God! You better run, son of a gun. I'm about to get you right here. You ain't getting away. Okay. KB2, KB2, KB2. Will we bounce off like... Hang on, let me watch our left side. Nice! Took it for the team right there. Is this guy alive or dead? He's dead now. Okay, good. Okay, keep it up. We are now best tank in game, T29. There's one more guy over there, I believe. Should we poke out and potentially die? Yeah, let's do that. No, every, everyone's gone. Look at that. Let's just breathe for a little bit here. There's really no one, no, no one else over there. There is, there should be a KD2 popping back out. That's a guy who I believe. Actually, I don't know. We just can't really do much right now. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Maybe keeping those APBC rounds was a good idea, or was not a good. Or, uh, you know what I'm trying to say here. Let's call this in. Now we can probably get him to bounce right here. Oh, he just got hit. Okay, this is our chance. Wait, 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 wait. Where'd he go? Holy shit, can our rounds really knock down fences? Let's call it, let's call it out to, again to our team. I can't really speak right now, but he's over here somewhere. <laughs> Wait, there's somebody in front of- oh my god, someone just killed all our guys. Okay, should we jeopardize this right now? Should we, should we go out and take a look to our left? Oh, we're so screwed. We gotta pull back here. I don't know what to do. A tree just went down, so that means he's moving over there. Might be wanting to poke out soon. And before I'm dead from the right. Or the left. Oh, you son of a... Jesus. Don't scare me like that. Oh, nice ammo rack. I wonder how it's feeling after that shot. It's good! So we got 17 more rounds of this uh, of this type of ammo. Is he dead yet? Are you still there? You're still there, dude? Oh my god, fucking die! What did I hit? Nuclear reactors? Okay, one more shot to kill this stupid ZSU here. Ay, 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 cabrones. Now, where's that 54 at? I know he's gonna kill me. <laughs> yes, clutch sauce. I don't even think that was the right guy. T grade, T grade, T grade. Right side. Crusader is distracting. Come on, traverse you. Fuck. What are you doing, dude? Get the fuck out of here. I'm on your fucking team. This guy might try to kill me here. Hang on. I gotta protect myself. 
Yeah, that guy just threw off my whole game plan right there. Look at this, dude. Four seconds for turret repair. That's tough. That's tough, man. Hey, there's a T44. He finally found me. Oh, look. Why didn't anyone? Why didn't anyone close that hatch right there? Stupid. Why? Why leave that hatch open in the first place? We got. Okay, good. But we have a, a, a backup here. Let's spawn back in. Okay, so we can still win this. Actually, probably not. <laughs> we got this though. We can try our best. Let's see what's from the front. I'm, I'm, I'm wary of that... Um, of that T44-100 to my right. Now we can go right through the upper plate. Wow, okay. That guy was like, Hacks, I, I saw you! <laughs> While he was looking the other way. Okay, they are capturing A now. Fuck. We gotta go to the battle. Let's reverse this bad girl around. Push in. Someone put on taps. I don't think we're going to last too much longer. Let's just go. Oh. There was a tortoise. Oh, how, how convenient. Okay, pulling back. We got about two minutes until they fully cap it. Hey, is that a tank right there? No, it's a log truck. Fucking, fucking Eastern Europe with log trucks. No, 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 we... Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. My overall feeling of the T29 is that, don't get me wrong, it's a good tank. Um, it's a really good gun, great for long range engagements and great, and great for close range um, activity with its decent reload rate. Not as good as vodka infused 100 millimeter reload, um, but the BR is a little bit too high. But it's weird because this gun's really fantastic for its BR. But it's armor, you know, you, tanks can engage you from the front. And I understand that this tank, you know, things have to be balanced, but this tank is known as, like, a hold-down machine. And um, when you bring it into high tier, like, you know, let's say 7.7, um, even 6.7, the Tiger II gun can go right through the mantlet. Um, so I don't really know how to use it. It doesn't have good flanking capabilities. You kind of have to go where the fight is. Um, but overall, it's a good tank. I just, it's probably not one that I would play that much. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, do me a favor. Have a great day. Until next time, peace out.